Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Lucy and today I'm gonna share how I came to Hungary and why I live here in Budapest. Yeah, first of all, I am a missionary of the Shalom Catholic community and I am a convenient community. It means that I don't have necessarily to go in a mission in a total different city, in a total different country, but I can still live with my family, um, work and so. In 2013, I went my first international mission, I went to Granada, Spain with other foreign missionaries to start our apostolic work there. And that was in initially intended to be just for three years for me. So I should go back to Brazil in January 2016. But actually, in the end of 2015, talking to the community and so, we decided that I could stay one year more. And then it happened. So in January, I went to Brazil just to visit my family and to stay a month there. But I would leave 2016 in Granada, Spain, and then come back to Brazil only in 2017. But, in 2017, it happened what, well, why I'm here. I came here to Hungary for a week uh, to visit some friends, because during this time there in Spain, uh, some, some young people that take part in our groups here in Budapest, they went there to, to Granada, and, uh, well, we are friends and still, nowadays, we still talk a lot, share a lot, and I wanted to visit them before I I left uh, Europe and there was an event in Poland, in Krakow, uh, the World Youth Day, a meeting with the Pope and so I was sure to, well, I was going to that meeting and I thought, well, Poland is bordered with Hungary, I can go to Hungary and then from there I can go to Poland. That was my initial plan. But when I arrived here in Budapest, like the first day from the airport to, to the community, to the house of the community, I felt in love with Budapest. And uh, I was talking to my friend the way, wow, Budapest is really beautiful. I felt much better, like comparing to Granada, because Granada is a small city. I am from Rio de Janeiro, which is a big city, and I really like big city traffic jams, seeing a lot of people all, every day. And uh, I, I didn't, I don't have that in Granada. So when I saw that, in Budapest, I was like, wow, I'm at home. When I arrived at the house of the community, when I, there I met the other friend, the girl uh, with whom I would stay for this week, and also I met the other missionaries of the community. And one of them, the responsible at that time, the one who was responsible for the mission here, she looked at me and said, hey Lizzie, why don't you stay here in Hungary? You speak English, you speak Portuguese, you speak Spanish, I'm sure you can learn Hungarian. I was like, <laughs> come to Hungary, nah, come on. I have to confess, I wanted to go to the toilet, you know, after a flight and traffic, um, I need it. And she was like talking and talking, you should stay, you could stay. I really didn't pay much attention, but my friends heard that. So when I came back from the bathroom, they were like, Lucy, you're gonna stay? You stay here? Wow, good, when are you coming? When will you move? I was like, hey, 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 she just asked me and I went to the toilet, I have no plans to come here to Hungary, but I will pray about it. In a community, when you have to take strong decisions, of course, we pray uh, about, like, when you pray to our Father, no? Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I said, okay, I'll pray. And I, that was on a Thursday. And I went uh, home with my, with my friend. I, I'm not sure if it was that night or the other day, but during these days, I prayed like, okay, God, my first impression of Budapest, I really liked here. It would be interesting, this challenging thing, but if it's really your will, I want to listen from somebody who I don't know. This person, I don't know who, will say something and this is gonna touch my heart and make me understand that you want me to move here. And uh, on Saturday, th that Saturday, I went with my friend to the Mass because we were celebrating the community anniversary. And the guy saw my towel and he joined us. We were, we were speaking English, so he joined the conversation. And I'm sure I said, I am here just for the week. But after the Mass, the guy came uh, and asked me, so how do you see a future here in Hungary? I was so mad, I was very rude, I said, I don't have future here in Hungary, I don't see my future, I'm here just to visit my friends 
and I'm going back, I'm going to Poland for the worthiest day, after that I'm going back to Spain and then I'm going to Brazil, there is no future here in Hungary. And he was like, oh, sorry, sorry. And uh, yeah, I was a bit worried. That was, but that stayed, I was like, okay, maybe, maybe it was really your will, God, maybe you want me to, to stay here, I will pray more about. And on a Wednesday, my last day here, before going to Krakow, I went to the Mass, to the daily Mass, and I was like, okay, God, I liked Budapest. I was, I was moving around all by myself, very comfortable, like as if I were at home. Before the Mass, I prayed like that. Okay, God, if you want me to stay in Hungary, the priest is gonna speak and I will understand. It's, I mean, it, okay, it was a prayer, but bit dumb. I mean, like, weird. I wouldn't understand Hungarian. I didn't know a word. And trust me, Hungarian is possible. Of course, you can learn, but it's very difficult. When the mass started, I didn't understand a word. Songs, I didn't understand anything. When the priest started um, the sermon, the, the homily, like after the reading of the gospel, there is a moment when the priest talks about the gospel, like, brings it to our life. And when he started, guys, it was... I was shocked. He simply started and made the whole thing in Spanish. It just started like, Las palabras en la primera lectura pueden parecer muy duras. I was like, what? And there was a guy, of course, translating to Hungarian, but I was like, oh, no, 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 I understand, no, 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 no. And it was not really related to the gospel, it was some, just in, something like our lives are in God's hands, our lives are in God's hands, he takes care of us and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, 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 nobody told my mama would go back to Brazil. I told my mom I would... Well, after the mass, I was like talking to my friends, yeah, it was in Spanish. And, oh, wow, it was just for you. So I'm like, no, there was some people there, like students or something like that. I left the church like, what will I tell my mom? How will I tell my mom? I went to the to Poland the other day, and during this period, before the event started, before the worthy worthy day started, I was I talked to some people. Okay, if I decide to go to Hungary, what can I do? I was like investigating and thinking, considering the the possibility. One day, when the event started, I was working as a receptionist. The place where we were. Uh, I was just with a Portuguese and Spanish speaker volunteers and I was at the reception so we had like on the second floor our dorm and then on the, the first floor it was the reception and one day before going down to work before going to the, the reception to work I prayed like okay God if you want me to stay in Hungary if you want me to go to Hungary I want something here in my hand on my hand with the name Hungary and I will understand that you want me to go. So everybody went to their work, I went downstairs, so when I was, basically was alone, a sister came, a nun came to, to, the, to the building. The building was next to a center area, so many people were confused and thought that that building was also for tourists or pilgrimation. And I said, no, no, it's not tur for tourists, it's just for volunteers. And she looked at me, oh, toilet, toilet. Hmm. The toilet again in my story. And then she was like, toilet, toilet. And I said, okay, okay, go, go. And I was like, come on, God, everybody can go outside, enjoy the city. I have to stay here alone. And also, I had twisted my ankle the day before. And when the sister came back, she looked at, she looked at my eyes and said, for you, from God. And she literally, she just put it on my hand this book I was holding all the time and this book has, I hope you can see, this book has some poems of Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. She literally put it on my head and when I looked at it I was like, <laughs> thank you. And yeah, so after that I stopped asking God, okay, should I go to Hungary, should I go to Hungary and it was yeah I should go to Hungary that's why I moved here so in February it's gonna be four years and to be honest I really enjoy life here I've been to Brazil uh, other other in other situations to visit my family 
I'm planning also to go this year again, but I don't know when I can go. And uh, yes, that's why I came. That's how I came here, and I really love. If you don't know Budapest, I really recommend. It's a really beautiful city. I have many good experiences. So bad experiences as every everywhere else you can find nice people or you can find people that are not in so good mood but yeah I, I really have a great time living here I work I have my um, also my apostolic apostolic work with the, the still with the community like praying groups camps and um, that's it so my channel is not gonna be like about me I really started it or with the songs uh, because I wanted to improve, to, to learn, to sing better, to play the ukulele better. So I started this, this channel as, a, as offering gifts for my friends uh, with the songs. I just wanted to share this because many people were asking me why I live in Hungary and why do I speak Hungarian. So that's it. I hope you like it. I hope I answered your questions or your thoughts. And uh, if you have anything else to ask, you can leave in the comment. I will, I will really try to answer everyone, not just give a heart, I'll try to answer everyone. And uh, enjoy! If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe if you want. Subscribe and if you like the video, please give your thumbs up. So that's it! Bye bye! See you!